r slash ask reddit shy introverted people of reddit what is the furthest you've ever gone to avoid human interaction was five minutes late to school so i decided to skip school altogether that day to avoid the awkward class entry college had to attend an out of town conference with my classmates as part of the requirements for a course my professor had booked a block of rooms at the hotel where the conference was held, and people were going to put 3-4 guys or girls to a room and split the cost. My classmates had a bunch of socializing and bar hopping planned, which sounds like my idea of a living hell. Also, all of them carpooled together in groups. I honestly would have rather walked barefoot across a mile of Legos than to be held hostage in a car for 4 hours with people I barely know. A few people asked if I wanted to carpool with them and what room I was in and I said oh, thank you so much, I'm actually staying with a friend in town though, and I'm stoked to see her, I'm going to have to take my own car so I can drive to the conference, I'll catch you guys there so I wouldn't come off as a widow. But I actually reserved a room at another hotel way across town, attended the bare minimum of the conference, and enjoyed as many coffee shops, art museums, downtown shopping trips, and nature trails as I could. When I was in the military I volunteered for a deployment to get out of going to a wedding. Back when I had roommates I didn't know very well, I'd spend all day in my room without meals to avoid awkward pleasantries. Then I'd get really hungry but the prospect of explaining why I'd spent all day in my room kept me inside. Then they'd text me and ask if I was okay. And I'd say yeah. Just keeping busy with some projects. And they'd ask if I'd eaten anything since they hadn't seen me. And I'd say yeah. Trust me. I'd never go without food then I'd wake up at midnight and steal my own food from the fridge. In high school I didn't have a car so I walked home. I used to just fast walk to try to beat the crowd of people, but I just didn't want to deal with it anymore so I would stay in the computer lab sometimes and ask my dad to pick me up a few hours later. So once the bell rang to go home, I would just stay in class since I had computers last. The teacher would forget I was in there not even notice me and then turn the lights off, lock the door, then leave. Honestly I didn't mind at all. I got to play video games by myself and one time about an hour and a half later the janitor came in and I guess I scared him. He turned the lights on and literally screamed when he saw me. Rather than associate with my nosy aunt when I lived with her, I told her I was going out for a while, moved my car up the street, and sat in it watching Netflix on my phone for a couple hours. Edit. Spelling. I'm 29. Guy knocked on my door and I looked out the peep hole and he was looking directly gazing into it back at me so I ducked and crouched at the base of the door and then he opened the mail slot to look in which was right above me and I just laid on the ground until he went away. Going through the drive through just to park and eat alone in my car. I stopped talking for an entire year of school, 5th grade, to be precise. I wear headphones all the time, even if they're off not plugged in. I'm so much more productive at work. People at the gym let me be, and people on the street leave me alone on my walk home. I was getting a taxi back home and must have mumbled or garbled my destination because it was quite clear he was going to a completely different place. Like, literally as soon as he turned right out of the parking lot instead of left. I literally let the guy drive for 15 minutes in the wrong direction, eventually just blurting out anywhere here will do and giving him a tenner, and then just walking aimlessly until I found a public transport I recognized and jumped on that. A 10 min cab drive turned into a nearly 2 hour journey home. For those curious and who live in Manchester, UK, I wanted to get a cab from Ashton to Appenshaw, and ended up going to Oldham, getting a tram to the city centre, and getting a train from there back home. I have phone anxiety. I was going to drive 1.5 hours to my college to talk to them in person over the summer instead of just calling to follow up on something. I never answer the door unless I'm expecting someone. Just today actually. My neighbor was knocking on my door this morning and I didn't answer. When it was time to head to work I realized I didn't have my keys. I think my neighbor found them and was trying to return them. Edit. Added a little more to the above and included an update below. Update. Sure enough. I left my keys in the door last night and my neighbor was nice enough to try to return them. But since I never answer my door, 
He took them to the front office. Let this be a lesson to my fellow introverts. Don't leave your keys in your door. Also, thank you for the PMs. I work at a hotel and one of the worst things about it are the really chatty guests. They'll just stand at my desk and jibber jabber, completely failing to take the hint, even saying excuse me. I have a lot of work to do will typically only get them to say oh don't let me interrupt, but they'll never walk away. I've learned to call the hotel phone from my cell phone. I answer the phony call and and tell the guest excuse me, this is important. Then I slip into the back and watch them on the video monitors until they off. Saw a coworker from my new job at the bus station. Couldn't bear the idea of the awkward chit chat so I hid round the corner, figuring I'd get the next bus as I knew I had enough time. The next bus didn't turn up and I was late for work. Every single day I order Starbucks on the app no matter how inside the store I am. A lot of days there isn't even a line but that doesn't stop me. Ordered food to be delivered, but my housemates and their sows were downstairs. I told the delivery person just to drop the food on the porch and I'd get it. I waited around 5 hours, starving and eating a bag of marshmallows in my room until everyone went to bed to fetch my food. Took my breakfast into a wheelchair stall at a remote toilet in a corner of the floor that I worked, so I wouldn't have to talk to my co-workers. Two months ago I didn't want to stay in my apartment while two workmen were replacing some windows, so I just made up an excuse that I couldn't stay and asked the concierge to keep an eye on them. The thing is that I didn't have anywhere to go, so the day before I transformed this little attic storage room I have, which is barely the size of a single mattress, in like a cozy fort with food and blankets, I stayed there all afternoon watching movies not trying to make any noise cause of the wooden floors. I went on an entire week long vacation out of the country by myself, went sightseeing, went on tours, ate out at restaurants, all by myself. It was amazing. This thread is making me realize I am not as shy and introverted as I thought. Bravo. I dropped a college course when I heard two people whisper my name behind me. I was at a dorm party in college. I became overwhelmed and hid under my GF's bed. They looked for me and everything. Once I was able to rejoin the party, strolled back in and acted like I had stepped out. I cringe thinking about it. So much. To stick out in my memory, though. During lunch one day I was relaxing in my car with the seat back. It was getting to be the last 5 minutes. So I was closing up shop, rolling up the windows. When suddenly a car pulled in next to me. It was my boss and his friend. I had a moment of irrational panic where I did not want to interact with them. So I decided to wait for them to go inside first. But they did not go inside. Their lunch hour and only just started. It was getting hotter and hotter in my car, and I was laying there, sweating, and the longer I laid there, the more I felt stuck. I think it was 15-20 minutes later before they started going inside, and I finally rolled back to work, like 20 minutes late and a sweaty mess. The other time was when missionaries visited our house and I was like 16 and did not want to talk with them, but they had arrived when I was in the bathroom. I was hoping they'd leave pretty fast. So I decided to just wait it out in there, but my mom invited them to sit down in the living room and the bathroom door was in full view of where they were sitting. So I just sat in there and waited. I didn't have a phone or book or anything, and it was a two hour visit. My mom knew I was in there the entire time and gave me a pretty unimpressed look when I finally scurried out after the coast was clear. My girlfriend's roommate came back one night with a bunch of their friends that I never met before. I'm not particularly skilled, socially, nor do I care to be but I can get through introducing myself and making a good first impression to one or two people at once but 10 people is too many. So my girlfriend goes to talk to all of them and wants me to meet them. So I say I'll be out soon I have a bit of a headache. So I think for a while of how I'm gonna get through this but I realize that it's been so long that if I go out now it'll be super awkward. Then I hear someone coming so I hide in the closet. Now I really can't go out there. So I stay in the closet for a while. Then I come out and get in the bed and pretend to be sleeping. When my girlfriend comes back and she wakes me up and asks where I was. So I pull a George Costanza and lie and say that I snuck out and went to the store to get some aspirin and then snuck back in and fell asleep. 
She wants to know why I didn't go through the front door and say hi to everyone on my way out. So I say that I didn't want to disturb their fun so I went out the side door. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's video drop a like and subscribe. Please check out more of our videos or our playlist. It is perfect for when you want background noise or to put on when you are falling asleep. Once again thank you and have a great day.